Hey YouTube, today is Sunday the 28th of May 2022, it is 12 p.m. and you're watching DJ Reacts. I know I disappeared for a year, but I'm back. I'm gonna be watching Stranger Things 4. Well, I already watched it because I forgot to film the intro earlier. And let me say it was scary to say the least. But yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see it. If you've never seen Stranger Things before in your life, you can watch the um, recap right there. But yeah, the show is basically about Stranger Things than you could ever imagine. Now, let's get into it. Don't place the blame on Eleven. She's just, she's just navigating her powers. Like, come on, be, be, be nice to her. <clears throat> Stranger Things 4. All right. Chapter one, the whole flyer club. <clears throat> okay, so we're at Joyce's new house. I think this. <clears throat> I think I remember this bit from the trailer. All right. So basically, what I need to process <laughs> is the fact that, that season three is over. Okay, okay. Let me just let me just put it this way. I I watched. All right. Most people watch this um, Stranger Things season by season when each season came out, right? Well, me I did it a bit differently. In season last year, twenty twenty one, I watched the entire show twice. No, no. The first time was by myself for the first time ever. The second time I was watching Angelina, which um, reacted to Stranger Things. And the third time was a few months ago. I was um, watching my brother watch it. My younger brother, who's now into it, and now I haven't processed the fact that season four is here. So, <clears throat> all right, I think I will kind of realize as I go on, as we go on, that season four is here. Plus, I kind of prefer um, eleven season three hair, but you know what? Uh, Joyce is going through enough already. I don't need to criticize her. <laughs> Fashion sense. I think that's Vicky. Yeah, I think that's Vicky. Oh yeah, I forgot she's in a band now. <laughs> oh, because thing. When they were saying that um, it's a, the new cheerleader has caught the eyes of one of the um, Stranger Things crew. I knew it was her. Because obviously, like, who, who else is new to the show and, you know, it's, it's female because we, we learned that um, Robin's lesbian. And, yeah, we saw Robin in the band. We know that Ro Vicky's a um, thing, like, part of the cheerleading or band team. So, obviously, it was Vicky. Now, look, I'm not saying that my girlfriend is better than yours. It's just that Susie's, like, a certified genius. You do realise Ella saved the world twice, right? Oh yeah, it is true. <laughs> yeah, but like at the end of the day, come on, Boston. Do, do grades really matter? Woo, Lucas! That ain't Lucas. What's Lucas? No, but to be fair, it is like I just like how they're arguing over their girlfriends. But um, I mean, no, it's weird for Stranger Things. Like usually, Stranger Things is worrying about some demogorgon or some mind flayer or something. But for once, they're able to talk about their girlfriends and stuff, which is normal for teenagers that have girlfriends, unlike me. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, I like the fact that they're able to kind of try and live normal lives. And Lucas is looking buff. Just to remember, just like. In case you didn't realise, um, season 4 is set 6 months after October, season 3, the last episode, was six was wait, wait, was 3 months after July, so that was October, and 6 months after October is April, so yeah, right now it's April in Hawkins, so yeah, that's, I, I, I mean, look, Mike has aged 6 months, but it looks like he's aged 6 years. Like, he's meant to be 14 in season 3, now he looks like he's damn 20, but no, he's only 15. And Mac, she's looking a little depressed, but you know what, let them, let her be depressed, her brother just died. Um, whoever's watching, can you please let me know whether, whether you'd prefer me to talk whilst the show's on and just turn the show volume down, 
or you actually let me know if you don't mind me pausing the video, the um, episode every second to commentate. Thank you. Episode two is gonna come out Sunday probably. So yeah, enjoy. He's asking him to pick between Dungeons and Dragons and his. Like, I'm, I'm not saying I don't support him playing football and stuff. Like, obviously, he's gonna want his friends to support him, and they should. But the fact that um, the Hellfire Club is on the same night as the tournament is just not fair, really. It really isn't. Like, they've never really been able to have like a normal life, and now that they are, now that they can play a game, now that Lucas is like doing well in his, you know, he's feeling like good about himself. It's just clashing. So, you know, they need to figure something out. Bloody it. I'm not used to that being two different locations. I'm used to just be. I'm used to that just being Hawkins. I'm not used to that being Hawkins and California. Sooner or later, there's going to be Russia. And, um, what else? It's Hawkins, Russia, California, and. Oh, right. Like, the. Oh, wait. It's Hawkins, Russia. California and well 11 wherever she goes and to not bust it up because when you let it out it feels better and if you can talk to someone about what you're going through then it will maybe help you feel better especially if they can empathize with you and give you advice you know because staying depressed and just dealing with your trauma by yourself ain't gonna do anything good for you it's better to talk to someone about it so at least they can try and help you Stalking me or something? Ha <laughs> uh, ha. What is this? A ticket to the game? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the whole stalker thing. Okay, well, I mean, you can clearly see there's more of a boyfriend girlfriend dynamic here, unlike last season. That all we really saw was the fact that he drank her water, then he spat it back. But you know, I like the fact, I mean, they're older and now they have like, I mean, yeah. I like the fact that they're, they're still going on well, you know, relationship-wise. When you're in trouble, instead of just blocking people out because you feel, you know, like you're locked out, you need to allow people to, you know, let your friends be there for you instead of blocking them out. And even if Lucas, you, you know, you broke up with him, it doesn't mean you should shut him out as a friend. If he's trying to help you, then let him help you. But I understand if you're feeling a certain way, like, you know, take your time. Yeah, I mean, no, she's going through a lot, I'm not gonna lie, she's, her brother died, her, her dad, she had to leave, um, what else? Free basket. <laughs> you want something, freak? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's like a likeable, like, I've, you know, mm, he sounds like a likeable character, you know, he's giving off Steve vibes, I guess, Steve from season one, Billy from season three, yeah, she's goofy. Speaking of monsters, um, Lucas has to do his uh, balls and laundry baskets game, so <laughs> he's not gonna be able to make it to Hellfire tonight. <laughs> yeah, I like how no, Dustin. No can... Yeah, I like how Dustin's trying to play it off, but <laughs> Eddie really ain't. Eddie ain't having it, obviously, as we can see from his face. Vecna is a creature from Dungeons and Dragons, so that is weird, you know, like. Wow, that's weird. Their their cult is called like the Vetna's cult, and then the villain of the season is also Vetna. Want to postpone it? We don't want to postpone it. It's just that. Like, come on, Eddie, be supportive. They like they they got to compromise for their friend. <laughs> Lucas is the reason. Like, he's like a main factor of like how they defeated the mind player last season. You know, with a sting shot. So like, be nice. Yo. He just makes things, you know, fun. I like that. He, yeah, he's like, he's a comic relief character, you know. Mike, you're wearing whatever shit your mommy bought you from the goddamn guy. <laughs> that ain't funny. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? I have karate. Murray. On Fridays. Karate. Oh, okay. And it's creepy. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can all understand why Joyce is paranoid about everything. <laughs> Her son was taken into the upside down. 
the lights were flickering. What happened is, oh yeah, her magnets, her magnets fell off the fridge in season three. And now she's getting some creepy Russian dolls. So yeah, I can understand her paranoia. I know it is. The, the stamps on the package have that. Plus, she was in a Russian um, underground base. And she technically killed um, Hopper and blew him up. So yeah, I can understand why she's so paranoid about everything. Oh, no, no, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that, Marie. nipples yeah well you don't say yeah. <laughs> typical Murray you're moping really I mean he did just have to go away from his girlfriend for like because of some big monster and now he's moved away to a different place so of course he's gonna be upset who's that's his new friend here I wonder. I think it's way past due. You <coughs> give that right hand of yours a vacation and get you some well-deserved hanky-panky. Yeah. First of all, Fred, I'm going to try to forget that you said any of that. I don't know how they're like trying to, trying to, you know, make excuses for why they can't, why each other can't come down to where each other are because that just shows, you know, that just shows their relationship, you know, they're like they're willing to make excuses for each other. Why I love her. That's why I love him. Oh, that's so cute. You're just jealous because I have another older male friend. Hmm. Uh, whatever. Besides, I mean, I, I really <laughs> Sounds think this girl. I mean, I kind of creepy. But these aren't your normal dice. Wow, you know what it is? Whale would be perfect for this. All he ever wanted to do after the Mind Flayer came out of him was play D&D. &D. And now that they need someone to play D&D, &D, where is he? In California. If I play, do I get one of those cool t-shirts? <laughs> yes. Really? Everyone gets a t-shirt. <laughs> He's being sarcastic. <laughs> She's being so sarcastic. She doesn't care. Being sarcastic. Being sarcastic. Uh. Oh. Okay. No. Hey, high school. Dustin, where are you going? Just trust me. He's going to find Susie Poo. <laughs> Wait, where are they going for real? That's Vicky, yeah. No, 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 that's not Vicky, that's that's the other one. That's the cheerleader. She's like, you know, she, I mean, I don't think Vecna works like that. I don't think Vecna's a host, like, needs hosts, but like, he's picking on her, if anything. I mean, they, I don't know what gender Vecna is. This season just feels different, you know, the cinematography is different, it feels like a different genre. Like, season three felt like a drama comedy, you know. This feels like... It feels like... It feels like drama... And... Not horror, but like... It feels like drama and... Yeah, it feels like drama and horror, I guess. Yeah, drama and horror. And comedy. Yeah, there's just there's more horror. It feels like it's, it feels like a it feels like a little bit of a horror show, you know. It's a bit more ominous, and there's more like dark imagery and dark like sounds. So yeah, it's it's it just seems scary. Like that's all in all the interviews, all the Stranger Things cast. They were saying, you know, this season's gonna be more scary, more ominous, darker. Everyone's gonna be going through things, but it's true. Why are you going to the forest by yourself after you just got terrorized by some monster in the bathrooms because of how it looks? But really and truly, like I was speaking to my friend about this the other day. You know, someone could be a millionaire and have all the subscribers in the world, but it could still be like not having the best life because their mental health, what's actually going on, isn't good. So don't assume what's going on with people. Ask. So yeah, she's Chrissy, the other one's Vicky. Chrissy. At least she's smiling. We actually got a crowd of about five drunks. But I, I start somewhere. Every, yeah, exactly. Everyone starts somewhere. I've got 58 subscribers. Some people wouldn't consider it much, but I consider it a lot because, you know, the 58 people who liked what they were watching and decided to click the subscribe button to see more. <laughs> the funny thing is I kept them waiting for a year, but hopefully it was worth it. I've got like an hour's worth of content or more, because the episode's about an hour. <sighs> to edit. 
15 bucks. Yeah. Line. I mean, he's selling them, yeah, but the, the intentions are good. <laughs> At least he's bringing a smile to her face. Yeah. But you'll need someone that can make her smile. Disappointing, Jane. Let's talk after break. She just saved the damn world. Like, she lost her powers, lost her dad, had to, you know, move away from her boyfriend. And just because she's getting a bad grade after being in California for six months, you're giving her crap. No. Come on, I cut some slack. Come on, come on, eleven. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright, L. Oh, oh my gosh! Come on, oh give her a break. God. I am so sorry. I hope Mr. Fibley's okay. Oh my gosh, it's not just ain't just Max and yeah, ain't just Max and Chrissy that's going to be depressed this season. It's also going to be L. I mean, no, Millie was speaking in an interview right yesterday, and she was saying that this is you know like 11 goes through like the darkest time ever and stuff so yeah it, it gives her time for her character to, to develop oh i see you. your little walk there you know fruity <laughs> oh yeah they like siblings now aren't they like it's a weird theory saying that they're gonna be kissing or dating like 11 would be cheating on mike with will and he and into girls that was like kind of made clear in season three or at least it was implied Angela! this is the bit from the clip that was released early Ah, but it didn't work. I believe in you, L. You're gonna get your powers back. Holy shit! What the hell was that? <laughs> I mean, that's. Oh, wait, no, okay, yeah. I can't say it's 2022. People should be more accepting and stuff. But technically, it isn't 2022. It's 1995. Six? 1996, I think. Five or six. Let me check that real quick. Is it 1995 or 1996? Oh, it's 1986, not 96. Silly me. <coughs> oh, bless me. Alright, so yeah, it's 1986, right. So the previous season must have been 85. So yeah, she's 15, because she was born in 1971. It was season 4, and it's 1986. Okay, so that makes sense. People weren't really... Didn't even be begin to be accepting until... 2020. I mean, the main reason why this show has been so accepting is because, you know, they've been through a lot together, the, the crew. So, yeah. By the way, if you don't understand what I'm saying, neither do I. <laughs> like, this is my first time watching the episode, so I'm going to be babbling on a bit. Waffling. Yeah. She's been through so much, and now she's just found out that he's alive. How good is that? Nancy just looks so retro. And her nerdy friend. I'm a nerd. So it's fine for me to say that. Her nerdy friend it came out of nowhere. Like, I think he's meant to be like a Barbara sort of character. Hopefully he doesn't die. Tammy Thompson! Oh, Tammy Thompson! The one that knows who could have in um, season three. How she sounds like a bucket. Yeah, he's shocked. Oh my gosh, I want to hear how she sings. You sounds alright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes! Thank you! Yes, they're talking about the season 3 scene. <laughs> she can't sing. But Steve liked her, he's got bad taste. Erica! You asked for a sub, like, she's a sub, just... I'm 11, you long-haired freak. Oh yeah, I remember that bit in season 3 where, where Mari says to um, Erica, why is this child speaking to me? And she says something about, I'm 12, like, I'm, I'm 10, you like, you bald eagle. It's like a big fan base. you want to see what other people think of the episodes, right? People like to see people's commentary. So yeah, also, that reminds me, let me know the part that shocked you the most in the comments. But I want to know what you guys think. So I'm not even a YouTuber, I'm just guy watching TV. We gonna do this, or we gonna keep chit-chatting like this is your mommy's book club. Oh, okay. Alright. Alright, Erica. Damn. <laughs> Who the hell is this ugly guy? Stop waving that thing! Like, she, she doesn't like him. She, their, their boyfriend and girl. Yeah, but I want her to be with Eddie. It's the sort of show that's better without hints and spoilers. When I, before I watched season three, I saw the I dump your ass clip and it messed up the season for me. Hail, Lord Vecna. No, thank you. Recognize. This is so dramatic irony because they don't know that they're going to face Vecna yet. And they're playing the game where they're hailing Lord Vecna. I've not seen this much energy about dragon. Then dragon. The, dra 
Dungeons and Dragons since the pilot when they were all playing the game. Like that's the last time that we actually saw them playing the game. Since then we haven't really seen them. It's just been Dungeons and Dragons the in real life video game. <laughs> Do you flee Vecna and his cultists? Yes. Come on, yeah. Like be smart about it. You don't wanna kill yourself. You don't wanna like set yourself up for suicide. So yeah, it's confirmed. They're all gonna lose their lives killing Vecna. Or trying to kill Vecna at least. This is so funny because they think it's a game, but they should realise with Stranger Things, it's never a game. I'm not too sure what's going on here, but obviously, you know, they're winning and I think he's losing. Or maybe they're both winning, I don't know. That team captain is bad. There's no shame in running and try to be heroes. Oh, right. Is that... Wait, wait, wait. Either his voice said that in the trailer or it was somebody else's voice repeating it. Yeah, apparently I shouldn't have watched the trailer. Like, I don't really remember every single aspect of it. I'm sure there will still be parts of the... Um, that I'm not expecting, like even though there are parts that I've seen in the trailer, there's still going to be parts that I have never seen and I'm not expecting and it's going to shock me and therefore you're going to get a shocked reaction out of me. What do you say, lady? Alright, so I'm going to take their planning as planning for the actual battle against Vakna. <laughs> I uh, 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 that was graphic! Okay, so, damn, alright. So, that's it. That was Stranger Things Season 4 Episode 1. Season 3? Oh my god. Season 3 ended with um, Hopper blowing up. Uh, Billy dying. Billy dying. Uh, the Mind Flayer pretty much going brain dead. Um, Max losing her brother. Eleven. And Eleven and Will and Joyce moving away to California. Um, Robin you know Robin getting Steve a job and wow it just feels like the whole show genre has changed and I'm liking it I like it but that was scary like that was flipping yeah I, I agree with what everyone's been saying because all the interviewers have been asking um, how would you describe the, um, the, 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 the season and they keep saying scary darker blah de blah I see what they mean now that felt like I was watching The Nun or something not flipping Stranger Things like what Chris's body just did, that ain't normal. So yeah, um, wow. I'm gonna take some time to process that, but um, yeah, um, if you enjoyed this, my commentary reaction, um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what part shocked you the most. Um, and yeah, share the video with a friend. And I'm gonna be um, episode two hopefully will be out on YouTube by tomorrow. And I do have a Patreon, but I'm not gonna really introduce Patreon until I until I have like more of a, you know, until like I grow a bit more. So yeah, um, thank you for watching and bloody heck, that was worth the year's wait. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that, but yeah, uh, have a good day or night and Bye-bye. Oh, shit. Oh!